Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial. In this episode, I hope to show you the functionality of the new fluting toolpath. Available within Insignia, Pro, and JewelSmith softwares, fluting enables the creation of detailed 3D toolpaths from just 2D geometry. Ideal for cabinetry, textured panels, architectural pieces, security markings, and much more. In this video, I will also be working in conjunction with the Vector Library, a feature that is already available in versions of ArtCam software, the 2013 release will include a substantial pre-created library to help you in crafting patterns like the wave wall I will now demonstrate. I'm going to create a textured wooden panel, similar to the ones that ArtCam showcased this year at the World Woodworking Show, Ligna, in Hanover. So to begin with, I'm going to open up a new model and specify the dimensions, a height around 300 and a width of about 250 millimeters. The first geometry I'm going to create will form the XY motion of my cutting toolpath. By selecting the Create Polylines tool, I can easily click and drag a horizontal line across my model. I can then copy this 31 times with a distance of 10 millimeters to fill my model nicely. You can see that the copies have been pasted outside my model. By pressing here, I can center them. I will now consider the depth of the cut as it passes along my vectors. By selecting the Create Polylines tool here again, I can create a quick rough sketch here in the 2D view of the path I would like my tool to follow. The size and dimensions of this sketch do not matter too much as it can be later scaled within the toolpath menu. Believe it or not, these are all the vectors I will need to create my texture. If I wanted to save these vectors for later for use on another model, I can simply expand the vectors tree, right click on the vector layer I'm using, and select export. This now takes me directly to the vector library. You can see here I have some saved already, and I will simply save this as a demonstration. At any point, I can now go back into that vector library and bring out these vectors. This will be shown in a later video. I will now continue to create my fluting toolpath. Selecting the toolpath branch of the project tree, you can see that all of the toolpath operations become available. I will select create fluting toolpath and the menu becomes available. Filling in this menu, I will vary the cut depth from around 0.2 millimeters down to about 2.5. Select the cutting tool as this vbit 120 degree carving tool and continue using the Z control vector. Ensuring that the one we have drawn is selected, I will accept this to the form and you can see that the text changes to read selected and turns black. I will ensure that my material block is set up to a thickness of 10 millimeters. I will now select all the vectors I want to machine. When doing so, I notice that all of the vectors are flowing in the same direction. For the interlocking pattern I want to achieve, every other vector needs to be reversed. I select them by holding down shift on the keyboard and left mouse clicking on the vectors I want to reverse. Once I have done this, I can right click on any of the vectors and select reverse vectors. When I select them all now, you can see that every other one is reversed. I can now select calculate now to calculate my toolpath. You can see it appears here. I will now simulate this toolpath in the 3D view to give you an idea of what it looks like. You can see there the tool passing across the material. If I change the simulation parameters, I will give you a better idea of what the finished products looked like that we took to Ligna. So here is our completed textured decorative panel. I will leave you with some pictures of other designs that can be created using similar techniques. Thank you for watching, it's been a pleasure.